live look at Grant Park. It has been gray. It's been a little showery today. We're hoping for something better. To yes, come Rob Ellis is here now with the forecast and what a way to start the week. It's hard to get moving when yeah, it's like that outside. It really is. You have another day of this. In fact, tomorrow we could be watching some storms, but after that, things should improve. Here's what you have to get through the storms and showers down to the south and then a front back to the west. But it's been some of this moisture that's been creeping in that our weather watchers have been talking about. They've actually been sending us some photos. Let's go to our weather watchers and talk about what they've been seeing because temperatures currently into the 60s to the low 70s. By the way, these are close to average for this time of year, but those pictures I mentioned, they really tell the story. Look at all the cloudy skies that have been showing up. Margaret showing us mostly cloudy skies for her location, and well, it looks like it's going to stay that way overnight. Back to that map to show you the system that's bringing us the moisture for now, and then more importantly, the front that's going to use that moisture tomorrow to bring us a chance for storms. Behind this front, there's some much cooler air. Ahead of the front, much warmer air, and this is what we'll have to deal with for the next 24 hours. It'll take it a good 24 hours or so before it finally does arrive. So let me show you future casts. This will really illustrate how things are setting up. Most of the light showers or sprinkle that we're dealing with tonight, well, there'll be light showers and sprinkles. You'll have that to deal with all the way through morning, although we could see a couple of rumbles of thunder roll through even in the early part of the morning, uh, kind of drifting off to the north. Watch for that for your morning commute. By midday, again, more clouds than anything else, but a few very light showers could be possible. It's really once we get into this early evening time frame that that chance for storms arrives as the front begins to close in. That will sweep across sometime during the evening, and by midnight we've cleared things out. So as far as what to expect from it, the Storm Prediction Center has outlined a slight risk of severe weather, meaning we have most of the uh, ingredients in place, just will the timing line up. And speaking of timing, we're talking the afternoon and evening. For your Tuesday, as far as what the threat is, some of those storms could be strong to severe. Well, what do we mean by that? The biggest concern is that we'll have gusty winds, maybe even a few isolated tornadoes embedded within that fall is our secondary severe weather season. So anytime you get into the fall and you have one of these fronts come through, it's something that you need to keep your eye on. 60 is what we're expecting for tonight and we'll bring it up to 80 for tomorrow. This is about 10 degrees above the average and that chance of severe is there, but there is a little bit of a question mark on how those ingredients will line up a little breezy as well with southwest winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. But we talked about waiting for that cooler air to rush in. If you liked that uh, fall weather, take a look. We'll get another uh, chance at it Wednesday with 65 and sunshine. We keep it bouncing back and forth between the 60s and the 70s through the rest of the week.